guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little gift box for Valentine's Day. What you're going to need today is a heart-shaped container or any kind of container that you want to dress up, some Mod Podge, adhesive caulk, cake frosting tips, glitter, cute charms, some tape, and a paintbrush. So the first step is just to open up the container because we are going to be starting with the bottom of it. Um, you can do this to both sides but I only chose to do one. I'm just going to put Mod Podge all over the bottom half of the container so that we can glitter it afterwards. Next I'm going to be taking some red glitter, it doesn't have to be red, it can be any color that you want, um, but I'm just going with red just because it's Valentine's Day and I'm going to put a whole crap load into the container and I'm going to shut the container and shake it up like it's getting turned, you know, because <laughs> you just, you don't want to miss any spots. Um, keep in mind that you can go back, put Mod Podge on top of the glitter once it's dried and put on more if it's lacking, but as you can see I'm just, you know go and cray cray with the glitter. Just open it and dump any of the excess glitter on a paper towel or a piece of paper and put it back into the container. My container has a really small hole so that's why I just decided to keep it in the um, inside the paper towel in case you know I wanted to use it again but your finished product should look a little something like this. So go ahead and put the cover back on because we're going to be frosting now. I'm going to take my caulk and my frosting tip and I'm just going to size it to see that it fits and afterwards I'm going to cut the actual caulk tip and tape the frosting tip on top. Once you're done that you can just start frosting the container. Um, if you don't know how to do this it's pretty simple. All you have to do is squeeze a little bit and kind of just pull back up so that you get the frosting tip effect. I'm sorry that my camera angle isn't that great but um, I'm trying to switch it up for you guys so that you can see what I'm doing. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it does take a little bit of time. Just keep in mind that if you do miss a couple of spots like I did, you can just go back and uh, fix those up afterwards. They're not really important. Just make sure that you have enough caulk to cover the whole container. Once you're done, you can decorate it however you want. I'm just taking a little bit more red glitter and putting it all over the frosting or the caulk. I'm just taking any cute charms that I can find. I have cupcakes, strawberries, little gems, and some sweets charms that I'm just going to put on top of this. You can use whatever you want. Um, if your valentine likes cars or purses or whatever, you can find any kind of charms that you think they'd like and put it on, on your gift box. It doesn't have to look like this. You can personalize it however you want. That is all you need to do to get this cute little gift box that you can give to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, um, your wifey. Um, you can put anything that you want inside anything that you know that they'd like, like a watch, some jewelry, makeup, um, anything like that. I hope you guys like this. I'm going to be putting up more Valentine's Day tutorials before Valentine's Day. Um, just keep your eye out for them and I'll see you guys soon.